Uh, hi, in this video, we will see buffer reader class in Java. So in our previous video, we have seen buffer reader to read data from the keyboard. In this video, we will see how to read data from the text file using buffer reader. So buffer reader is available in java.io package. So we will use buffer reader class to read data from the text files. For that, we need to use file reader class. So we have used input stream reader to read data from the keyboard. So we'll use file reader class to read data from the text files, okay? So we discussed everything in our previous video in detail. There we discussed about uh, how to read data from the keyboard. So here we will see from the text file. So let me go to Visual Studio Code. I created one class called buffer reader file demo. So, and I created one text file data.txt. So I have, read, I have written something like uh, high learning read file using scanner class. So I created this file as part of scanner class. So because of that here, scanner class, but no, no problem, we can put anything. So this is one of the important topics in Java. So we need to learn this concept carefully. This is what I have written in this file. So I need to read this data. So let me go to here. So as we discussed, we need file reader class to read data from the text file, new file reader. So here you need to mention where your file is, from where, from which file you want to read the data. Right? Where is that file? File location. We need to pass file location. Okay. So where is my file location? This is my. Just right click on this, copy path. This is one of the options in Visual Studio Code. Otherwise, you can directly go to that file location from your file explorer. You can copy that location. I copy paste it, but here in Java, you need to use two for backward slashes to represent the path. Let me change. Okay. And then we, we need to use buffer reader class. We are is equals to new buffer reader. So here we need to mention that file reader object. Okay, that file reader a reference. So we, name, we mentioned this one. Now we need to read the data. So how you can do that? Use the while loop while br dot we have one of the methods called read line is not equals to null, then you just print that. Br dot read line. Okay, I need to mention this is a method. So while the br, you read the br dot line, if it is not null, then print that. So till when, until all the lines completed, okay? So we'll see what issues we'll face when you execute this. So Java buffer reader file demo dot Java. So we'll say that file reader cannot find symbol. Buffer reader also cannot find the symbol as we discussed. This file reader and buffer reader is coming from Java dot IO package. Okay. So we again execute and see what is the issue then. So we might get the IO exception, unsupported exception. If there is a, if you do not have find the file, then there is a chance that it may, it may raise an exception. So I'll just mention throws IO exception. We need to mention uh, after this method, that means in which method you have written this logic after this method, before this curly braces. So we will discuss about exceptions in detail in our upcoming videos. So here we just mentioned that. Now we'll try to run the same thing. We'll see. You see that this is one of the important topics in Java and then it is printing null. So what it is doing, it is reading only one line. After that, it is becoming null. Okay. So we are already printing that. So to, if you want to read the entire file, so what we need to do, we need to store the whatever we read. Okay string data, okay? I mentioned one string variable. So data is equals to 
means this data and it the moment when you read it will be stored in the data rate so i'm reading this br dot line and storing it to the data i will print the data okay, no need to mention br dot read line okay so i'm reading and uh, storing in a string variable and i'm verifying that is a not null or not null and then i'm printing that again it will read another line and it will store in the data and again it will same thing until it reaches end of the file okay so that's how we need to use this for loop let me run again you see that i'm getting all the three lines which i have mentioned in the data.txt file okay this is how with the help of file reader and buffer reader class we can read the data from the where from the text files okay so what could be the possible interview questions from this video so they may ask what is buffer reader class and what can be read using the buffer reader class so we can read the data from the keyboard and from the text files so how to read data from the keyboard using buffer reader that we discussed in our previous video and how to read a text file using buffer reader class so that we discussed just now okay so that's all in this video thank you